BMW Division. Do you know those mood rings from the 90s? This car's like that, but it's a car. And you can control the color. The point is, it changes color. The e-ink paint exterior allows you to broadcast when you're feeling blue, are tickled pink, or are running from the police and need to get away. What, officer? No, that was a red car that robbed that bank. I'm in a green car. The windshield is a mixed reality screen, so you can project augmented or fully virtual reality on the world outside. As long as it doesn't turn pedestrians into like those turtles from Mario or something, that sounds cool. It also has a personal AI avatar assistant, which would be great for me because I'm tired of crying alone in my car. C-Pod The C-Pod is a pretty cool concept. Who wouldn't want to live in a floating house that's like a mashup of the Jetsons and SpongeBob SquarePants? It's like a giant egg on a stick, a spaceship for the ocean, and a crazy-ass home. I mean, who needs a climbing wall in their shower? It does desalinate the ocean water, which is pretty cool, and floats like an iceberg. I bet it couldn't destroy the Titanic like one, though. I wonder if you'd get seasick. And the toilets, man, they incinerate your crap. Sewage treatment plants? No thanks. I've got a high-tech toilet that turns my waste into ash. It's like living in a spaceship, but instead of blasting off into space, you're blasting your crap into oblivion. This is the future we all deserve. Candela C8 So far, we've covered land transportation, air transportation, well, here's water transportation. The Candela C8 is an electric hydrofoil boat. That means it has little underwater wings that lift the hull out of the water. This means that instead of chugging along like a sad little tugboat, a hydrofoil boat can soar through the water like a majestic seagull. It's like the boating equivalent of upgrading from a tricycle to a motorcycle. Hydrofoiling boats use less energy so you can spend more time on the water and less refueling. It's like a boat that runs on dreams and good vibes. Linker the Linker, a six-person flying automobile that has wings like a plane but six propellers, is a crazy concept. The wing-plane propeller combination is a stroke of genius. It's like the designer was saying, let's just put everything we've got into this thing and see what happens. Six people flying around in a plane the size of a car? That's like if you took a smart car and strapped some airplane wings on it. Imagine flying to a party on the Linker. Everyone's just slamming beers and yelling over the roar of the engines. Hey, watch this, bro! Then someone grabs the controls, does a barrel roll, and everyone's puking their guts out all over each other. They probably have little linker decals on the back of their cars that say, Flying High or Sky King. Pugiet Inception The Pugiet Inception is a wild ride, man. Instead of a steering wheel, it has a tablet called a Hypersquare. I bet you'll be able to play video games on it while you're driving, too. That's like the ultimate multitasking achievement, am I right? Imagine trying to play Grand Theft Auto while steering this bad boy. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a wild ride. It's marketed as being feline, luminous, and sophisticated. Uh, the feline part? What? Will it start meowing every time I hit the accelerator? Is it gonna run on catnip or something? If I want a feline, luminous, and sophisticated car, I'll just buy a cat and strap a flashlight to it. And let's be real, a hypersquare as a steering device is just weird. Animal X Robot Alright everybody, calm down. Yes, this looks like a robot dog. Yes, it looks like a killer robot dog. But what we're not gonna do is say anything that might anger it. It can go upstairs, ladders, and walk on gravel and sand, so there's nowhere to hide. This robot is built for use in industrial and research settings for inspection, monitoring, and data collecting. Oh, it's a scientist robot dog. Okay, I could beat up a scientist. It has a ton of cameras and sensors, and the idea is that it does routine or dangerous inspections. But remember, if it's coming after you, throw a blanket or sheet over it. It'll be blind and you can flee. Jet Capsule GTF Okay, let's talk about the fancy-ass boat called the Jet Capsule GTF, a.k.a. the Flying Spaceship. It's a mini yacht with wings. It's got a hydro propulsion system that looks like it's gliding across the water and a shell made of carbon and fiberglass that looks like it was built for intergalactic travel. This boat is just a way for wealthy people to show off their status and make the rest of us just feel bad about our lack of carbon fiber and fiberglass. 
And honestly, who cares? Just enjoy the damn ocean and stop trying to pretend you're in a spaceship. It's obviously not a spaceship. Sorry to break it to you, but this is a boat. And don't all spaceships fly by definition? It's like they took a boat and just stuck a rocket up its ass. It's still cool though. Lincoln Model L100. This car makes a DeLorean look like a freaking horse and buggy. Wait, this is a Lincoln? Well, it looks like they're making a comeback. This luxury vehicle looks like you could put it in space and it would immediately go to warp four. The interior is packed with all sorts of futuristic bells and whistles. The only thing missing is a beam me up Scotty button. It does have a jewel inspired chess piece controller. I don't know what that does, but it looks cool. And it runs on antimatter instead of gas. Just kidding, but seriously, that interior is crazy. Those seats and that screen thingy, I don't even know where I'd throw all my fast food wrappers. Ram Revolution Truck The Ram Revolution, it's the ultimate machine for truck enthusiasts with a sensitive side. This truck is electric. That's right, no more stopping at gas stations, just plug in and let it charge up while you're inside getting hammered and watching cat videos on YouTube. This bad boy comes fully loaded with biometric face scanning technology so you can unlock it with a smile. What if the truck doesn't like your face? What if it's like, nah, I don't feel like driving with you today, chief. This thing has all the goodies of a regular truck. You can haul butt, tow whatever you want, and go off-roading like a madman. Whether you're hauling a trailer full of manure or just need to get out of Dodge, this truck will get you where you need to go. Shadow 6 Typhoon The Shadow 6 Typhoon, man, what the hell is this thing? It's like a four-wheeler with a twist. Instead of driving through the dirt and the mud, this is built to conquer the seas and lakes. I mean, it's not like people haven't tried to make four-wheelers that can float before. I tried to put water wings on one once. I imagine some redneck hicks buying one of these things, thinking they're going to be the king of the lake. They rev up the engine, start driving across the water, and then BAM! The thing capsizes and they're all like, whoops, guess we should have read the manual. They're all flailing around trying to swim back to shore, but the Typhoon's got their hunting rifles and Budweiser in a floating cooler, so they're just treading water, getting eaten by leeches, and wondering what the hell they were thinking. Just wear a life jacket and don't drink and drive. Equelius If the law enforcement boys and girls need to chase down some rogue mountain bikers or ATV enthusiasts in rough terrain, they better strap in and hold on tight, because the Equelius is about to take them for one hell of a ride. The Equulius, I mean, just think about it. A few years ago, the idea of a cop on an electric mountain bike would have been straight out of some sci-fi movie. Now, here we are. Well, I bet it sounds like they're riding around on a swarm of angry bees for its rough terrain? Do you mean rough terrain as in protests and demonstrations? We've got cops on electric mountain bikes for Christ's sakes. It's like we're living in some sort of dystopian techno nightmare. Can I use it for mountain biking if I'm not a cop? Hold on vehicle. All right, buckle up for this one, or don't, because the hold on autonomous car has arrived and it's taking the driving experience to do frontiers autonomously. So this is a self-driving car. It looks like a bus because it kind of is one. It's designed to be like a lift carpool, but one that drives itself. Do I still have to tip it? And who cleans up when my drunk ex-girlfriend throws up in the cup holder? Y yes, Sarah, I know about that. Besides being a mode of transportation for people, they also want it to move items. In fact, they call this product a mover, as in, mover on down the road. Overall, this is a very cool vehicle concept that could be very useful. Who do I sue if it hits me? Emblem. The emblem, huh? Holy cow, what a ride that thing must be. Can you imagine cruising down the tracks in your little glass pod? The emblem is probably a mixed bag. It's like a roller coaster. Instead of being strapped into a seat, you're strapped into a glass pod hurtling down the tracks at top speed. It's a wild ride, but it's probably also a complete and utter nightmare. It doesn't even look like it has a chair inside. That's the price we pay for freedom and adventure, right? It's like paying to be in a prison cell with a better view, but then again, some people just like to sit and watch the world go by. Maybe they find it calming or something. I hope these things become real because it would be hilarious. Aeromobile Flying Car We already showed a flying car in this video, you say? You say there's no way there's another flying car out there? Well, you sound foolish because we have a second one for you. 
the Aeromobile Flying Car. It's looking pretty darn fly if I do say so myself. It's as if a sports car and a private jet had a beautiful love child. No more being stuck behind a slow-moving tractor on the way to Grandma's house. One of the things that sets the Aeromobile apart from other flying cars in development is its range. With a range of around 430 miles, you'll be able to fly from New York to Miami without needing to refuel. That's pretty impressive if you ask us. Plus, with a top speed of around 100 miles per hour on the ground and 124 miles per hour in the air, you'll be able to outrun any pesky traffic cop trying to give you a speeding ticket. Pix Robobus The Pix Robobus is like taking a trip through the mind of a mad scientist, except instead of a laboratory, you're in a fully autonomous passenger vehicle that can sit six people. It's sleek, futuristic, and straight up stylish. But who in their right mind would want to sit in a tiny metal box with five other strangers, all while being controlled by a computer? That's like something straight out of the freaking Matrix. I mean, six people? That's like five too many. If you're gonna put that many jerks in one confined space, you might as well just call it a prison bus and be done with it. Sorry, sorry, I, I just really hate buses. I must admit, this is better than a city bus in almost every way. Asuka A5 Flying Car are you so over sitting in traffic? Well, now you can literally be over traffic. The Asuka A5 is a real life flying car. George Jetson, eat your heart out. Well, technically it's an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle, but car is much easier to say. And anyway, imagine showing up to prom in one of these babies. It fits four people or 19 clowns, flies up to 150 miles per hour and is fully electric. It can also drive, which is cool, I guess. Pretty soon, you'll be able to ask people to fly you to the airport. Isn't that weird? Seriously, though, I don't know what to tell you if you don't think a flying car is cool. Driving in the rain would be weird, though. It gives a whole new meaning to hydroplaning. Icoma Tatamel Bike Rounding out our list today, we have another foldable electric bike. The Icoma Tatamel Bike is unique because of its ability to be personalized. It's designed with easy to swap parts and side panels so you can purchase or create your own look. I'm going to make a bike entirely out of cheese. Cheese bike. It also folds up super tiny and cute so you can fit it under your bed, under your desk, or inside a cake that you're bringing to your sister's boyfriend in person. You're welcome, Dylan. We're giving it to him because you can use this bike as a desk and he's been trying to get into creative writing. Zektron Electric Bike. Have you ever wanted to ride your bike to work but didn't want to lug it around all day at the office? Well, with the Zektron, you won't have to. This bad boy can fold up so small you could fit it in a clown car. Assuming the clowns aren't riding their own electric bikes. Let's talk about that fancy screen display. Not only does it tell you how fast you're going so you can pretend you're in the Tour de France, but it also tells you how much battery you have left so you don't have to pretend to be in the Tour de France for too long. It hits a top motor speed of 20 miles per hour and has five levels of pedal assist, just in case your quads are getting too meaty and thick. DC 100 E Motorbike The Da Vinci DC 100 E Motorbike is about to blow your mind and possibly your hair too. This two-wheeled robot is not just any ordinary electric motorcycle, it's a smartphone on wheels or a smartphone on dashboard. Smartphone as dashboard? I guess texting and driving is back on the menu, boys. Pokemon go the speed limit. This thing can compete with the top motorcycles on the market, except when it comes to noisy motors. Seriously, in the zombie apocalypse, all the cool kids will be riding one of these. It won't attract the zombies, and all you need is a solar panel. Citroen Miami Buggy The Citroen Miami Buggy, man, it's like a golf cart that got all dressed up for prom and decided to hit the streets. It's got style, I'll give it that, but what's with the lack of doors? What, you just want the wind in your hair and bugs in your mouth while you drive around? Is it a car or a go-kart? The Miami buggy is just a hipster's dream. It's got that look at me, I'm different and eco-friendly vibe. You know the type, they wear all organic cotton and ride around their fixed gear bikes to the local farmer's market to buy artisanal cheeses. Just imagine cruising around on that thing on a hot summer day the wind in your hair, and your sunburned legs dangling out of the side. Husqvarna Siora. Now this is a hungry boy. 
This little guy is an autonomous mower who manages very large grass areas. This way, when you yell four on the golf course, you'll hit a robot lawnmower instead of a human one. You can use your smartphone to tell it exactly where to mow and where not to mow. And also about the boy you like. The Sierra won't tell. It's also not noisy or polluting, so you can mow early on Saturday morning without annoying your neighbors. I don't know why you would, but if you wanted to, now you can.